Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video technique I want to teach you is the mirror technique. The mirror technique would allow you to take a stamp and make a mirror image of it. To make this card I have used a three, three, and a, three and three quarter by five white sheet, five and a quarter by four black um, cardstock, and a card base. The stamp set that I'm using today is called Zany Zebras. And you see this zebra here is looking to the left, but I mirrored them to make them also look to the right. And that's what we'll be doing today. In order to do that, you need a silicone mat. This is so by Stampin' Up, I think it costs six dollars. I think, but this has other uses than this, but this is the best mirror technique that I have found that works for me. So let me move this away and then we'll get started. I'm going to need a stamp positioning tool to do this. So I'm bringing in my Misty. And I already have my stamps on the Misty where I need them to be. So the first thing to do is to get the image onto the silicone sheet. So put the silicone sheet into your Misty as if it was just a regular piece of paper. And you would put the stamp where you wanted it to be. Pick it up with the Misty door and you're ready to go. Now I'm taking Memento Black and I'm going to stamp, ink up the stamp. Make sure I got a good coverage. And I have just re-inked this to make sure that it's nice and juicy. Make sure that hasn't moved. And press it down. Now you don't want to go like this over it. You want to press it with your fingers because you don't want to smear the image. Because it the ink will not stick to the silicone. So keep pressing it till you're sure you got a pretty good transfer. Move that up a little bit. Okay, open the door carefully. Take your cardstock and lay it in the corner of the Misty and just press it down. And rub over the back. Just give a little back rub to your cardstock. Okay, that should be good. And there is the little zebra. Now I'm going to give this a second stamping just to make sure that I got it, but to make sure I don't get any blurries or something like that, I'm going to clean this up first and do this again. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it would be better to try a double stamp. Okay, same steps again. paper in the corner and I'm holding it up until I get it s positioned in the corner then I'm dropping it in place okay let's see how that went pretty good pretty good wipe that off now move the silicone mat put the paper back in the corner Re-ink this stamp. And there you are. Now wasn't that easy? When you do the mirror image, it will be a little bit lighter than this, the straight on image. That's why I double stamped this one. Okay, now I'm just going to put everything together. And this will just take a minute or two. <laughs>
that is the finished card using the mirror technique. It was very easy to do using the silicone mat. And if you don't have one of these, I suggest that you contact a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and order one as soon as possible. My Stampin' Up! demonstrator is Frances Martin, and I have her information linked down below in case you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But this technique is really um, a lot of fun to do, and it opens up the possibilities for your stamps. I hope you'll try it. I'd like to thank everyone for following my videos and I appreciate all the comments that I'm getting. I'd like to thank my brother David for the music that he's providing and I hope that you're enjoying it. Please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you everyone and have a great day.